This training video will take less than two minutes to watch and by the end of it you should be able to run the client site log report and find out if you have deleted transactions. If you have deleted transactions without a client being re-entered and reprocessed right away, it is from the more. main Enterprise Live screen, go down to end of day reports and look for the client site log. You'll use the standard date parameters. You can choose a couple of weeks or a month or whatever you want. There will be a lot of transactions and it will be a long report. We chose several weeks, ran the report, and had 110 pages. Once you run the client site log report, you need to export it into Excel. So in the upper left hand uh, corner of the screen, there'll be a choice whether you want to print or export. Choose the export function and then choose to export it into the format Excel 2000 data only and choose all pages. You should have another window pop up and ask you if you want to open or save the file. At this point, choose save and then another window will pop up and ask you to open it. You can choose open. At this point, you'll need to format the column width. So you'll want to select data and use your column width or auto fit feature so you can see everything. And you can put data you have. And um, you want to see about five columns. And the last column shows employee that is logged on. You want to use your data filter or your auto filter feature on Excel to place arrows at the top of the name. These filter arrows will allow you to sort or search. Now we want to sort the third column alphabetically and we can see now that uh, all deleted transactions where it says a transaction was deleted um, and shows you who did it. Now we need to go back and sort the first column because it just shows the, um, the time and this is where we go back in and use the column format. So we click on the A at the very top, go in and format column, change it to the format that has the date and the time, which is a specialized Excel format. So you can see both the date and the time on that first column. Now let's go back and sort alphabetically again. And we'll go back and see that all the group transactions that were deleted are together. We'll color those in red or shade those in red. And be able to go back in and find them easier when we sort it again by date and time. Now when sorted it by uh, oldest to newest, I can go back and page down. I see the red lines very easily. I should see a client re-entered right after they're deleted unless there's some other explanation. They should be re-entered with a discount at the next line level. As I page down, I can see another couple of transactions, actually three of them with no re-entry. I can also use the Excel find feature to find that client's name if it appears anywhere else on the screen, which can be very useful.